Hey, second grade, we are gonna to continue to color and or draw our letter with our hand. This is what we call our warm colors and cool colors. For those of you who need a little ketchup, not mustard, just ketchup, no, I'm just kidding. These are the warm colors, red, orange, and yellow. And these are the cool colors, green, blue, and purple. When we are deciding what colors we're coloring our paper, we needed to think about two things. Number one, when we're looking at this letter, as you can see, my letter is an E. I'm gonna put these down because they're my cool colors. Now, with my, with my warm colors, I started with the hand itself. So when I'm looking at the hand, this shape goes all the way around. It stops up here on this corner, but then it goes up and around and I'm only coloring what's inside of the E. We're treating it as if it is its own shape. Now, looking at this shape, knowing that it is a hand, I know it continues to this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this finger yellow too. As I look through this entire thing, I'm looking at this finger, the next part of it that is inside of the letter is also gonna be yellow. Down here, as you can see, this is yellow, but that's because I've created a pattern going out with all of the lines. So after I've chosen which color I'm gonna do, whether it's cool colors or warm colors, obviously I chose warm colors, you're gonna do that inside the hand. The next color that goes after yellow is orange. Okay, so now I have taken orange and I am going right outside of every section that is yellow, as you can see, okay? That's all the way around. So everything touching yellow inside of my letter E, I made orange. After orange comes red. With this, I am touching everything that is orange and still staying inside of my letter E. Okay, so here I only have a little piece of red and a little piece of red, and I have a little bitty piece of red in this corner, and then a little bit of red here, here, and here. Now with this, as you can see after red, I went back to orange. You can do that as well if you want orange to be the only thing touching red, or you can go and follow it, uh, the same pattern of yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, red. I decided to do yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow, orange, red, orange. And then on the outside, as you can see, are my cool colors. So now I'm only coloring the lines that are outside of my letter E. Right now I'm working on blue but first I finished my hand print in purple. After purple, I chose to do blue and I followed it all the way around. I did not go inside of my letter E. I stayed out of the E and continued to trace it. Now I'm on my second pattern. I'm doing the same thing with my cool colors as I did with my warm colors, which was going purple, blue, green, blue, purple. So you can do it however you want. I want it to be the best that you can do. I don't wanna see this kind of coloring, okay? I want you to take your time and color slowly like this. This is gonna give you a better result. Now, knowing that Miss Crane is not here today, I want you guys to really work hard to see how far you can get. I would love if you could finish these today. If you are talking too much, the sub is going to ask you to stop talking and then begin to write names down. So I advise you guys to work extra hard on these and try your very best to get finished. Notice how slow I'm going around these areas. I'm really trying hard not to get outside of these lines. Essentially what we've created is a coloring book and we are practicing staying in the lines. Okay, if you have any questions, ask the sub and have fun doing these. Okay, see you soon.